Hi everybody, it's Shelly. I am um, here at the Mystic KOA and let me just tell you that today is April 14th. This is the earliest in the season that we've ever gone camping. So um, kind of cool for us to camp this early in the year. And it's like 65 degrees out. So anyways, um, let's go inside in the camper and start some crafting. Um, so we're crafting at camp and we're gonna quickly make um, one scoop at a time is a workshop that we sell close to my heart sells, which yes, you can buy from me. Go to my website, seashellsandlemons.com. Um, but anyways, uh, my friend Dina bought this workshop kit and she came over and there was some of the tools and supplies she didn't have. So she couldn't make this kit. So I have kind of, um, taken the kit and made my, made it a little bit simpler for people who don't have all of the additional supplies needed in order to make these exact cards. But um, literally, this kit is like just over 20 bucks. So it's like under $21. You get 12 cards. Well, you get to make 12 cards. So that's like just over a dollar or something a card. So it's really a good buy. And if you don't like these pictures, you can do your own thing. So um, anyways, in this kit, here's all the cards. Here's the one sample I made with the ice cream. And um, I started putting together all the rest. But literally, here's all the 12 cards. Plus you get... Fun bling, which my friend Dina loves. Bling. Sorry about the dogs. Yeah. And I'm going to show you a couple of quick um, tips for if you don't have certain tools. Okay, back it. Quiet. All right. So here is um, if you can see my workspace here, and it's not backwards. Might be backwards. Um, so. All these pieces and parts, the dimensions and everything, are on your on your sheet here, and it tells you how how big to cut them and what color stock to use and whatnot in your kit. So it's really easy and simple. But um, in order to get these distressed edges right here, I'm going to show you a quick tip. So in order to get those distressed edges, because this kit actually wants you to cut with your thin cut circles. Um, and well, we don't have the thin cut circles. I don't even own them and I didn't, I'm camping. So I didn't bring all those tools and supplies with me. So I'm going to go a different route and I'm just going to distress the edges to give it a little texture. So I used my cute little tool here and it's just, just distressing tool. And, um, you just, you just kind of distress the edges like this and it does make a mess. So I have a napkin here. And if you don't have this tool, it's okay. A knife works. You just got to be real careful. Obviously I wouldn't give this to the kids. But here, I'll show you on this yellow one. I saved the side here for you. If you just go like this, and it distresses your edges so nicely, see? It looks just like the distressing tools. You don't even have to buy the tool. See? There you go. Alrighty, so I distressed both the edges of this. I used a different background. I liked something that made these colors pop instead of just the white because as you can see in this picture right here, they just have white and I wanted something to make the colors pop. So, and I like everything crooked because nothing in my world is straight. And then I used this like they did and just put it right here as if you've, you know, um, taken a little piece of tape, which is so cute. And, um, and now we're gonna do some stamping, but I also wanted to tell you um, oh, you need scissors for this project. So the only things that you need are the kit, scissors, the distressing tool, and if you don't have that, a knife, um, and uh, you need to be able to cut your paper, so you have to have a paper cutter, and these blocks. And if you don't have these blocks, any hard service will work, and I will show you how we can stamp without the block, just in case you didn't bring your blocks to camp. Now, the blocks are the best tool to use. They help your stamp stay protected and whatnot, but if you didn't bring the blocks with you to camp because you don't have room to pack them, then um, you can use, let's see, you always want to put your, your whatever this is called down before you stamp because it offers a nice clean stamp, but you can use something else. Here, let's try this phone right here. You can just put this here. Any hard surface will work. See? Works just great. You don't have that, you can use a remote. Look, remote. See, works just great. I have my blocks with me because I brought everything with me. And now I'm gonna stamp.
Okay, so now that we've got our images stamped on the white paper here, as you can see in this picture, they're cut out. And so we want them cut out on ours too. And we want to cut them out so that we can like pop them a little. When you raise things, it gives dimension and it adds so much nicer. Okay, now we've got both pieces cut out here. Our cute little pineapple, isn't that adorable? We're gonna go ahead and get it placed up here, up here. And now the last missing piece of our card would be to stamp the sentiment on the front here. And the sentiment is gonna say, your sweet one fine apple. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this and I'm gonna stamp the and one fine apple right on the yellow here and then we'll be all set. All right, so now all of our pieces and parts are here. They're all put together. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out and then that's the last missing piece to our pie and we can adhere everything together. And what I wanted to say was that my friend Dina bought this kit and she was so excited to use it. And when she came over to my house, um, we sometimes we end up drinking a little bit of wine and chatting about stuff. And we ended up not making the kit that day. But um, she promised that she was going to make this kit because she bought it. So she needs to use it. So I have done this video to show her how she can make this kit at home using the tools that she has. Because she is a new card crafter. And new card crafters don't have a whole lot of tools and supplies and whatnot. So... Dina, if you're watching this video, which I know you are, um, I showed you quickly how you can make this at home. So I'm hoping that you're gonna go ahead and make yourself a card and show me what it looks like when you're all done. And for the rest of you out there who want this adorable kit, which comes with all the stuff to make this card and all the stuff to make this card, minus this background, which I added myself, so you can add any color background you want if you want it to pop like I did. I'm gonna adhere this after, but then this will be all set. How cute, how cute. Um, you can go ahead and get it from my website, www.seashellsandlemons.com, and you can comment below if you want. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which would really help me out. And um, make sure to come crafting and camping with me next time. Thanks.